Hi, I'm Patrick, team lead for Coldwell Banker's top real estate team in South Carolina, the Patrick O'Connor team. Today, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what's happening in the Lexington real estate market. We have never seen a better real estate market in terms of home appreciation, buyer demand, and historically low interest rates. What our challenge is really the lack of inventory to supply the strong buyer demand, which is driving prices for sellers. First, I wanted to mention the Lake Murray market that feeds into Lexington and River Bluff High Schools. Today's January 27th, and so far this month, three homes have closed on the lake in Lexington. One is under contract, and there's seven active and available homes for buyers. The buyer demand on Lake Murray is significant, so if you're thinking of selling, there's absolutely never been a better time. If we look off Lake Murray in the Lexington area that feeds into Lexington, White Knoll, and River Bluff High Schools, as of today, this area has seen 93 closed sales since January 1st. 21 of these closed sales were new construction. There are currently 144 available homes for buyers today, and about half of those are new construction. I think it's important to note that a lot of the new construction that's on the market advertised on MLS is really not even available or finished ready to close. Even more shocking is the number of properties under contract, 401. So there are more homes under contract than active and available for buyers at all price points. There's a few things to keep in mind when selling in this type of market. The first is the importance of marketing and listing exposure when selling your home. Some think marketing isn't necessary in a seller's market, which really couldn't be further from the truth. Studies show that high quality marketing, professional photos, video, online and local exposure has a huge impact on the number of showings, how quickly you start to get those showings, the number of qu and quality of offers, and marketing ultimately impacts how aggressive buyers are willing to be when making an offer on a home. Buyers have a preconceived notion of value when they're searching for a home online, even before they step in the door. And I believe the goal of a listing agent should always be to create marketing that grabs the buyer's attention and exposes the home to as many people as possible in an effort to attract as many buyer opportunities and offers for the seller to choose from. You also want to keep in mind the importance of managing the process from start to finish. In many ways, it has never been more challenging to close on a home. The listing agent is charged with managing the process with buyer's agents, appraisers, the closing attorney, and the buyer's lender to make sure that you make it to the closing. Luckily, there are several things an agent can do upfront just to ensure that you get the best end result. If you're looking to buy in this market, there's also a few things to keep in mind. The first, many of the best homes in our market are either selling the moment they hit the market, shortly after, or in some cases, even before they go into the MLS. I would recommend working with a hyper-local agent or team who has a strategy for getting imp information about homes coming to the market, a track record for helping a lot of buyers, and someone who moves quickly when it comes to showing in person or virtually. Number two, now more than ever, you want to get fully approved for a loan before you start looking. When a home gets multiple offers, a lot of the offers can start to look the same. So it's best to have a pre-approval letter rather than a pre-qualification. And in my opinion, it's even better if your approval is from a local lender. As always, if you're looking to buy or sell or just curious about the value of your home, I'd be happy to help. Feel free to reach out anytime.